and welcome back. Um, oh, yeah, smell a bit. We're going to stick on that for a minute. We're just going to throw all of this, everything, right? all of it in. A good trick to learn is how to flip a pan. You know how to do that? So what you're doing is you're making a roll like that, right? And the trick to that is in practice with rice, put rice into a pan and go outside because you're going to make a mess, <laughs> is you're making everything move. You're stopping the pan. The food continues. It hits this outside lip and then comes up and then you just catch it on the other side. So that's that's all that fancy flipping that those fellows do. Try it, guys. You're not flipping. Then You're just stopping the pan. Inertia carries it forward. There you go. Perfect. There you go. And then when you get good, you can do that with a quesadilla. Yeah. Flip the entire quesadilla. Or even eggs. Yum. <laughs> yep. All right, oh, so definitely with eggs. So how should I be doing this? Well, that's it. You're just okay. every once so in a while. Just every once in a while, just mixing Just to it keep up. it a move. Okay. We're going to add some green beans. I love frozen green beans. They make everything easy in the world. If you can, like I do, um, and I'm trying to do equal portions, green beans, squash, peas. Uh, if you can, like I do, you can use your canned products. Sometimes frozen is just that much easier. And then a lid, if you would, please. And you can flip this, you know, you just incorporate it. We're going to cover it. Oops, making a mess. That's part of cooking, right? That is part of cooking. If you get a big pile like that, a good way to <laughs> cover it with the lid. I thought, yeah, I was going to say that lid's not going to make it. Sometimes pan. you just need a bigger pan. And just fold them over top of each other like okay. this. I'm going to put this back on the let's go hot now. I, this is uh, way hotter than that one. More BTUs. More BTUs. A couple of other things that are really important is to make sure you're set up to be successful in your kitchen. Uh, there's a place called Organized Mind here on CVTV that really will help you. I'm going to bring Linda Clevenger in. She's a personal friend of mine. And we're going to show you how to set up a kitchen for one of these shows. That's going to be the whole show. How do you set up a kitchen? One of the ways you set up a kitchen, oops, sorry, excuse me, is you always have staples on hand. How long does it take to make rice? It seems like almost an eternity. This is black rice. Black rice is really nice and sweet. It's a superfood. And what that does for you is when you have all this heat with the curry, you already have prepared rice available to put your food on. It takes nothing to warm it up. You can nuke it. I prefer panning it. I try to stay out of the nuke as much as I can and makes it easy. The last thing we're going to make, because you're going to get a bonus, is we're going to grill some lettuce. Oh, you ever grill? Yeah. <laughs> I actually just bought some lettuce today. Uh, Cal uh, showed me how to do it like last week, I think. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so I just actually picked some up today. Do a little hearts of romaine. Yeah. And we're going to make this an entire veg dish. There's not a protein going in it other than what's naturally in there. You get a couple of less, you wouldn't mind washing those. That'd be awesome. Absolutely. We'll get that going. We're waiting on this over here. <laughs> so today's my dad's birthday. That's right. Today's Shout out to Ron birthday. Osterhout. Hi, Dad. Happy birthday. I've stopped counting. You know, sometimes you should just do that. Stop counting. My dad's an amazing man. <laughs> <laughs> we already sang to him this morning. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a tradition around here. If you're having a birthday, I will call you at some god-awful early hour and sing happy birthday <laughs> to you. So if you want that to happen, just put it in my email <laughs> at uh, the CVTV. So all we're going to do is trim the ends off. Just right up. Right there. Both of those. This will go, this will go in our, that's done. We can even add a little water to it. I didn't see the organics. Uh, split it. Yeah, we do uh, vegetable stock all the time around here. So anytime you have anything that is a vegetable, throw it into the freezer instead of throwing it into the compost. And then you have the ability to make a quick vegetable stock. <laughs> and we have all Let's of our vegetable up. leftovers. Let's open it up. Yep. Onion Let's skins, up. carrots. We just keep them in here. And then it goes into the compost. So we're just pouring some good olive oil on it. The veg is just doing what veg does in a pan that's on high, back behind us. You want to take them, because all the oil's down in it now, you want to rub it on the outside like that. OK, so just rub one on the other. Rub one on the other. Do you want me to cut the zucchini while we're doing it? Yeah, you want to grab the mandoline? I wanted to show them the mandoline. Oh, yes, absolutely. 
just okay, like that. Cool. So there's this olive oil all over the rest. S and P. This is the most basic seasoning. You always want to season from up here. I know it looks messy, but break out your vacuum cleaner because it makes a better broadcast on what's going on. Okay. And this is S and P. You'll see me use this forever. It is one cup salt, one quarter cup of uh, ground black pepper, and it goes on everything. It's almost the perfect seasoning for what we're doing around here. Mitzi broke out one of the, my favorite oldest tools. It's called a mandoline. It allows you to cut things very precisely over and over and over again so that they're all the same size. Uh, sometimes cooking is all about the mechanics of it. It's artistry. This has obviously a lever under here that you can adjust this table up and down to the blade, which is right here. It has the ability to uh, make julienne fries while you're going. So what we're going to do is set this so that it's thin. And we will uh, simply just go down through and shave them. What this is going to give us is a really soft zucchini that uh, you don't have to cook. We're going to throw this on top, maybe a little thinner. We're going to throw this on top, and it'll add a little sweetness and herbaceousness to the curry. Cool the heat down a little bit. I like that back and forth heat, not I heat. Do yeah. Absolutely. Right. Just be careful when you get close. Don't catch a finger in there. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard so that you can. <laughs> You can see that they're paper thin. They're super tasty this way. Uh, yeah, how about it? I'm gonna flip this around. Yum. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People forget that food is just that food. Yeah. And it's not uh, anything mysterious. We just don't take the time to cook. Hang out with people. Uh, Saturdays is a big cook day for Mitzi. Uh, when we're talking about doing volume, we'll do 40 lamb shanks just cause. And I'll show you that just someday cause. too. Cool. Then you wrap them and put them in the freezer, and honey, I can come home for lunch and pull out a lamb shank and have it ready for lunch in as long as it takes water to boil. Eight minutes. Wonderful. <laughs> so this is going to do for another two or three minutes. Well, all we're doing really is waiting for the, uh, the butternut squash to soften a little bit. Okay. But when that softens, we'll come back. We'll be done probably six minutes after uh, we come back from the next break. We'll set up, we'll break out some of our other quick shout out to Bacchus Winery, brand new here in Fredericksburg. It's over by the Five Mile Fork Center. Uh, delicious wine. You're drinking a $30 wine for 10 bucks. So when we come back, we'll show the quick finish, put it together, sit down, have a meal. See you in a few. Looking forward to it.